Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to create an Arkanoid game. Let's start. Just delete cat and we will add sprites. We can choose them from the library. Let's create puddle. It will be our platform. Let's add ball here and change size to the 50 point here also let's add this block this sprite for blocks let's change size also to 50 and just put here rename it block and let's add sprite line for our bottom line so if we touch this it will mean that we it will mean that we are loose somewhere here great and also let's choose a backdrop i want stars cool you can style it you can change color as a paddle of the ball blocks and so on i just show you the code first of all let's create a blocks we will need several rows so we don't want to duplicate sprites we need to create clones so when the green flag clicked this block shows here and it's go to this place and then we will create clones create clone of myself then the next one should change x position so go to the right by horizontal line is by let's try 50 and do it let's repeat it 10 times let's see okay 50 it's a little bit too much let's change 45 great now this block should go down on the next row so we need to set x to the start position minus minus six like this and we need change y coordinate go down i think minus 30 will be fine let's see great and then we need repeat creating next row so we put it this script in a loop repeat i want let's five rows great and this block should hide so and but before show great let's also change colors i have two i will duplicate and make it for example something pink just change fill okay i like it you can create different colors you can add more costumes as you wish as you know in arcanoid you can create different types of blocks one of them for example will increase uh, speed of the ball one one decrease one of them can uh, just boom around so as you wish we will add this later but and now let's just have three different colors and of course we need just um, block next costume let's somewhere here great now let's create for paddle and for ball scripts so our paddle when the green flag clicked we need 
go to this start position here and our game will start when we press space key bar so when the space key pressed let's add script forever and just super easy control if k right arrow pressed we go move 10 steps to the right i will duplicate if left arrow pressed we go to another side so we can just minus 10 steps let's see great i can control my platform now let's add script to the ball so uh, ball first of all when when the green flag clicked we go to the start position after when space pressed our platform should move forever move let's start with five steps it always should if an edge bounce or if touch an edge just bounce to another side and if a ball touching paddle our platform it should also change direction to the random and also if touch blocks to the random direction so we need if touching a paddle then point in direction and we need an operators pick random we can click on this here in direction and see so paddle are somewhere here and we see that we need somewhere between 70 and minus 70 degrees 70 to 70 great and we also need if touching yeah you see but we need if touching block point in direction is it stuck we need another just stop and let's see we need them go down so somewhere 120 and when i see when i see here it's minus 120 will be great but if i set this value it will change somewhere between this and it will not work in because we also will have this range and will stack in the blocks we need not we need just to this um to this number plus 360 so like like another circle yeah and it will be to 240 in this range it will be great i press space and see we always can play <laughs> great now our blocks if touching ball should uh, should hide delete clone so we create script when i start as a clone forever if touching ball we need delete this clone and also i suggest uh, play some sound start sound we can pop or you can go to sounds choose a sound and choose something else for example this one choose whatever you want 
Let's start. Great. Now let's create our game more interesting and fun. Let's create speed. We need a variable, make a variable and let's call it speed. When the green flag clicked, when we start our game, we will set speed to 5. It's how many, how much steps our ball makes. So move speed steps and uh, if touching ball before delete we will change speed a little let's um, 0 0.3 i think it will be okay and let's see yeah you see our speed is increased and it's much harder to play ah. great you see my um, you see my ball touches a line we need a condition for losing and for winning so go to the ball and let's create condition we can put it here if touching line then let's broadcast a message i like broadcasting messages <laughs> um just you lost and when I receive and also broadcast you lost and let's stop not all but uh, this script and when I receive you lost let's ch change backdrop we can change backdrop, just duplicate and write new lost. Yeah, you can style it some better way, but okay, just when the green flag clicked. Switch backdrop to the stars and where are my ball? When I receive you lost, we will switch backdrop to start two and then stop all. Stop all. Let's try. Just check our condition. I will not try. Great, you lost. Fine. I like it, you can do it better. <laughs> and now let's create condition for winning. So we won when we destroy all blocks. So we need to know how much blocks we have, how many blocks. So we need to collect them, we need to count them. We will create variable. Let's call it blocks. When we start our game, our blocks is zero, and after creating clone, we change number of our blocks by one. And then, if we ta deleting this block, we change blocks by minus one, and we need just check if before let's here if our blocks is zero and operators equal zero 
then let's let's switch backdrop double kit this all right and where are my blocks if blocks is zero let's switch backdrop to star three and then stop all all right okay we have 50 i would try you can try also i like arcanoid it's so old school but still fun great also if you want to create different types of blocks and for example, pink one will be, I lost, for example, the pink one can decrease speed, the blue one can increase it more, or you can create some, some things, for example, your paddle will became bigger or smaller, and it will be interesting, more harder to play, so as you wish. I show you the basics. If you like it, please write it in the comments. And of course, subscribe if you don't want to miss my new tutorials. Thank you again for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. Write in the comments what game I should do next. See you soon. Bye.